Hey everybody, welcome to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you would, please consider possibly hitting that subscribe button. I try to come out with videos here on a regular basis as much as possible. Sometimes daily, sometimes not, but it's just whenever that there's something worthy to talk about, I will come out with the video. So... That being said, let's get into today's video. So Jim Irsay was talking about how that he could not wait to correct the mistake he made. And what he was talking about is Carson Wentz. He specifically said Carson Wentz was a mistake that he could not wait to correct. He felt that it was a mistake from the beginning to spend all of those first round picks on Carson Wentz to bring him into Indy to become their next franchise quarterback. Now, Carson Wentz didn't really do that poorly as a Colt last year. I mean, he had he put up really good numbers, but as Pat McAfee would probably tell you, when he was great, he was great. I mean, he was playing better than you you could ever imagine. But when he was off on his game, he was probably one of the poorest quarterbacks that you would ever see. I mean, just making dumb mistakes. And, you know, we saw the, uh, I guess you would call the lowlights of some of those mistakes they made. I mean, boneheaded mistakes. And it's kind of something that Carson Wentz does. And it's, uh, quite frankly, it's something that Ryan Fitzpatrick was kind of known for as well. You know, it's Fitzpatrick, or it's Fitzmatrick, magic, or it's Fitz tragic, I guess you would say. It's kind of the same thing with uh, Carson Wentz. I mean, honestly, Carson is almost uh, Fitz Jr. in, in a sense. Uh, you know, he is going to go out there and try his best to make a play, even as, as it looks like that he is going down to the ground. You know, live to see another day is not always the case for Carson Wentz. And so that's something that he is certainly going to have to work on in the upcoming season, in the upcoming several seasons to come. But, yeah, Carson Wentz, definitely up and down. Now, who does that remind you of, of a past quarterback that Washington had, I would say, about 10 years ago? Rex Grossman. You know, Rex was one of those uh, good Rex, bad Rex quarterbacks. When he was on hot streak, he actually played really well. Now, for some of you youngins, I guess. Uh, maybe you may not have remembered Rex Grossman, um, but many of us do. And, um, you know, Rex, he played on a Super Bowl team with Chicago. You know, it's almost a similar story. You know, um, Rex played on a Super Bowl team, but even then, though, he was always kind of a hot and cold type of quarterback. You know, the Redskins picked him up. Um, you know, again, hot and cold quarterback. Um, Never really developed into a franchise guy, but um, he was a solid guy, though. I mean, he, he could win some games for you, but he wasn't going to be the one that was really going to win a Super Bowl for you. I mean, quite frankly, that Chicago team got to the Super Bowl by other means rather than just purely, you know, Rex Grossman. But just the, the simple fact that, you know, the in the comparison... Carson Wentz can be a hot and cold quarterback when he's hot. I mean, that dude, he can ball out. He can really ball out. And when he is cold, watch out because he is going to make some plays that is really going to hurt your team. And that's what we've seen. And so I think that's something that I, I'm hoping that Carson Wentz is going to bring to the table um, that he's going to say, okay, I know I have these uh, – uh, downfalls about me, these things I need to work on. Let's see if we can work on these tendencies of uh, protecting the, the ball more, not making these decisions that I know I should not be making at this point in my career, and really honing my skills, maturing myself as a quarterback, and learning to be a franchise quarterback. Because I, I think Carson Wentz has the tools. He's got the physical tools. You know, he, he's got the arm. We've seen it. He's got the strong arm. And that, that is one thing that we have sorely missed from last season. As much as we all love Taylor Heineke, Taylor Heineke does not have the strong arm. 
Carson Wentz does have the strong arm, so that is something that we're going to enjoy uh, with Carson Wentz. He's going to be able to stretch the, the field uh, with having Terry McLaurin, uh, Deami, Deami Brown going down the field, and he's going to be able to, to get the ball down the field to those guys. It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Uh, it should help the play calling with Scott Turner as well. So there's a lot of upsides with Carson Wentz. Now, for Jim Mersey, you know, to say that he was a mistake that he couldn't wait to correct, well, you know, maybe it was a mistake for Jim Mersey to pick up um, Carson Wentz. But here's the thing. It's awful easy for Ursay to say that now that he was able to get Ryan uh, Matt Ryan because there it, <laughs> it was a little touch and go. You know, quarterbacks were starting to come – pretty scarce for Andy and I mean yeah you know you still had Baker uh, Mayfield you know he's still out there Um, but I mean quite frankly Andy missed out on Deshaun Watson they missed out on um, you know uh, Wilson and a lot of those guys like that so you know they were not getting a franchise quarterback and you can say, well, okay, well, they did finally get a franchise quarterback who's in the twilight of his career uh, with uh, Matt Ryan. And so now I think there's, I want to say, you know, he, he's saying this because there's a little bit of, oh, I got my quarterback now. Now I can sit back and say, yeah, that other quarterback was a mistake. You know, we, we just, we, we needed to brush that on, under the rug. And, and so we're going to get this guy. And then, you know, what's going to happen is, couple of years down the road you're gonna to have to turn around and do it all over again because you got another guy who's at the end of his career you're gonna to have to try to find yet another quarterback and so now the only thing I will say with Andy is they've been you know pretty lucky with having really good quarterbacks come in back to back to back I mean you know you had Peyton Manning who was there for a long time Franchise quarterback, you know, had Andy winning and playing championship caliber football year in and year out. <clears throat> he finally leaves to go to Denver, and then they were able to bring in Andrew Luck, who was a fantastic quarterback, I think. Unfortunately, I, I, I won't say they misused him, but I don't think they ever got the uh, protection that Andrew Luck needed. Andrew just got beat up too much, had to retire early. But they had franchise quarterback and Andrew Luck for a number of years. You know, he retired. They were able to bring in Philip Rivers, who was another, you know, franchise quarterback, even though he was at his twilight of his career. Brought in Carson Wentz. Uh, now, didn't have the best year that they had hoped, but he still had a solid year with them. And now they're bringing in uh, Matt Ryan. So, you know, the Colts have not really hurt for a good quarterback. You know, they, they have been able to bring in good quarterbacks and have good quarterbacks for a number of years. And so I think maybe it, it could be a little bit of that. You know, you've been so used to having a uh, franchise quarterback that suddenly you you feel like you can be a little picky about it. And I, Is it going to catch up with Indy? I think it will, you know. Do I think there was a mistake? Because now that Carson Wentz is a commander, am I being the one that's a little, you know, smug about it and saying, hey, you know, well, we got him now. Uh, If he wins with us, it's going to be mud in your face. I'm not trying to say that necessarily. But I'm saying that, you know, Carson Wentz is still a young guy and He's proven that he can play top-notch football. And, you know, I think that it takes him being in the right system and, quite frankly, being on a team that wants him. And Ron Rivera has already came out and said, we want you here, you know. And I think he's trying to establish that early. And so if Carson is able to mesh well with his teammates here in Washington, then, you know, there's success there. I really truly believe truly believe 
Carson Wentz has all the chance to be very successful in Washington. And the pundits, the NFL pundits, they're seeing it too. A lot of them feel like that Carson can be very successful in Washington. Heck, a lot of them have already picked the Commanders to be the NFC East champions this year. Now, you know, they picked them to be the champions last year too, but we saw what happened. Uh, but I think this year, you know, they're favorites because they feel like Carson is in the right place. They feel like he's a very good fit for Washington, for Washington, and I think he is a good fit. I think, honestly, when you look back on it, uh, while Russell Wilson would have been a fantastic quarterback and was one that I really, truly wanted on this team, you know, Carson Wentz was a great pickup, and I was, I'm kind of glad in retrospect we pounced and we got – Wilson when or not Wilson but uh, Wentz when we did because I really think he's got a lot left and he just needs to be in a place that says they want him that truly shows it and is going to get behind him and is going to have a teammates who are going to get behind him and support him and I think there's there's nothing but up for, for Carson Wentz for the Washington Commanders. What do you guys think? Do you agree with Jim Mersey? Let me know in the comments section below. As always, again, if you're enjoying this uh, channel, you're enjoying um, the content on here, please consider subscribing to this channel. I can certainly, um, I can certainly use your uh, help and, and um, just your support with the channel. I really appreciate it. All you can do, uh, please, if you consider as well, in the description, I have a link to um, my Patreon page. Uh, please consider supporting this channel further uh, by supporting me on Patreon. Uh, I do plan on um, possibly uh, doing the uh, memberships on this at some point and uh, possibly some other ways that you can support this channel as well. So um, anyway, that being said, Folks, I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to go into the next video starting right now.